hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you a super delicious bitter goat curry with a special mustard paste it's a very simple recipe to try but its taste is super delicious you can never forget the taste of it so let's see the recipe at first we have to make the spices paste so i have taken a small mixer grinder now i'm adding 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds here and 1 teaspoon of poppy seeds we are going to make this curry without onion and garlic so we'll avoid them now i'll run the mixer for a while and now here's the texture now we have to add some other things so at first i'm adding some salt to taste and here i have taken one tomato and green chilies according to taste and i'm adding them into the jar now I'm covering the jar and running the mixer again and I'll use water as needed to make the paste and here is our paste I've made a smooth paste as you can see now our spices paste is ready keep it aside and go for the pan here I've taken the veggies as you can see I've taken three small size bitter gores and cut them into pieces I removed the seeds as you can see and here I have taken two brinjals small size and two small size potatoes. I have cut them and after cutting I have washed them properly. You may cut them in your favorite shapes and sizes there is no problem. Now we have to fry the veggies one by one so I am adding some cooking oil into the pan and at first I will fry the bitter gores. On medium heat I will fry the bitter gores until a nice red color. This type of frying will remove all the bitterness of the bitter goods. So wait for some time. And now they are ready. They are of nice red color. So I am removing them. I am removing them into a plate. And in the same pan I will fry the potatoes and brinjals. So I am adding the potatoes first. On medium heat, I'll fry the potatoes for 5 to 6 minutes. And now they are ready. They are cooked about 25 to 30%. And now I'm removing them into the same plate of the bitter gores. Here they are. And now I'm going to fry the brinjals. On medium heat, I'll fry for 2 to 3 minutes. And now they are ready. I'm removing them also into the same plate now we have to add some more cooking oil for the gravy and now we have to add the spices paste directly into the oil so I am adding it and now I am going to add some water washing the mixer jar so that the spices cannot be wasted I added the full quantity of salt needed for this recipe with the spices paste so now I don't need to add salt but actually I want to add some turmeric powder but uh, I forgot this time so I'll add it later. Now we have to cover the pan and cook for 5 to 6 minutes on medium to low heat. After 5 to 6 minutes you can notice some oil over the spices and now we have to add the veggies into the spices. I'm stirring it very well and now I'm adding the veggies I mean the fried veggies into the spices and now I'll stir again very nicely and after that we have to cook again for five to six minutes until the oil is released nicely and the water is nicely dried so let's cover the pan and wait for some time in between we have to uncover the pan and stir the veggies nicely to avoid burn so after five to six minutes the mixture is dry enough and the oil is released very nicely so now we have to stir it properly and after that we will add water for gravy now I am adding water don't use too much water for this recipe because the thick gravy for this recipe is very suitable. So I have added a little water as you can see. Now we have to cover the pan and wait for a nice boil. So now I am covering the pan. The heat is on medium. 
actually i forgot to add some turmeric powder so i uncovered the pan and added some turmeric powder to the curry and now i'm mixing it nicely after that i'll cover the pan again and wait for some time until the veggies are cooked very nicely cooked 100 percent so let's do it wait for some time in between we have to uncover the pan and check the veggies and now all the veggies are cooked very well i'm showing you here's the potato and uh, here's the bitter gourd everything is cooked very nicely and our curry is ready to serve don't use coriander leaves for this recipe because it's not suitable for this so let's turn the heat off and wait for 10 to 15 minutes before serving now let's serve the curry you can see friends that the curry is looking very simple and very delicious of course it's not red in color and oily to look at but it's very delicious to eat it's super delicious to eat with boiled rice especially so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye take care